All right, hello everyone. Thank you all for coming on what is a great day for Stony Brook University, the Department of Athletics, and our women's basketball program. In just a few moments, you'll hear from our new women's basketball coach, and after she speaks, we'll let members of the media conduct one-on-one -on -one interviews with her. Our women's basketball program is thriving right now. This is a team that went from four wins two seasons ago to 24 wins this past year, a 20-win turnaround that ranks number one in the nation. The Seawolves also improved by seven wins in America East, reached the tournament final for the first time since 2002, and earned a WNIT bid for the first time since 2006. With 11 student athletes returning next season and a talented recruiting class to join them, the future is ever so bright for this women's basketball team. And now to introduce the newest member of the Seawolves family is incoming director of athletics, Sean Hilburn. Thank you, Tom. Hope everyone's doing well today. This is an awesome day here at Stony Brook. The sun is out, and uh, we're glad to have you all here as we welcome the newest member of the Seawolves family. And we really feel like we've hit a home run with this hire. You know, four weeks ago today, I was very fortunate to be introduced as the new athletic director at Stony Brook. And immediately, Donna Woodruff and I set about the task of finding the new leader for our women's basketball program. And our goal is to compete for America East titles and it, compete for NCAA berths annually. This is our expectation. We want to create a winning culture. But we don't just want that to be limited to the basketball court. We expect for our young women to develop as leaders and to be role models in the community and to win in everything that they do. And we think we have found that leader to take them there in Caroline McCombs. You know, Caroline is a dedicated teacher, she's a mentor, and she brings incredible experience and energy to Stony Brook. We believe not only will she help our student athletes develop their skills on the court, but she'll be able to mold them as leaders and use her experiences to help shape their future. And I really am excited for our student athletes who will get to learn and grow under her leadership. You know, Caroline's experience as a student athlete at Youngstown State, her Division I coaching experience at Valparaiso, Pittsburgh, Northwestern, and most recently Auburn, they have prepared her for this moment. Now, this is the right moment for Coach McCombs to be a head coach, and we're just so excited to have her join us at Stony Brook. You know, none of this ever happens alone. You know, Caroline has had some incredible mentors along the way, none more so than her mother, Diana, who we're so excited to have with us today. So Diana has her red on. You are a sea wolf, and we're so excited to have you as part of our family. Uh, we also wouldn't be here today without the tireless efforts of Donna Woodruff. Again, four weeks ago, I got off the podium, and Donna and I started working on this, this path. Actually, it started before that. But I have to thank Donna because you know, I've been in Oregon going back and forth and she's really kept the train on the tracks and has allowed this hire to not only go so smoothly, uh, but it was a very diligent search. We talked to some incredible candidates. And the fact that, as Tom mentioned, we are well positioned to take that next step allowed us to attract some wonderful candidates. But we feel that we have the right leader and her time is now, and I'm very pleased to introduce the new coach of the Stony Wolf Women's Basketball Program, Caroline McCombs. Thank you. Wow, this is truly a blessing. I want to thank all the coaches, the staff, my future players, um, and everybody for welcoming me, welcoming me to the Sea Wolf family. This is such an honor and a blessing today. Great institutions have great leadership, and I'd like to thank President Stanley for allowing me the opportunity to be his women's basketball coach at Stony Brook University. The con confidence and belief that Sean had in me is amazing. Um, our conversations, 
um, throughout this process was a big part of me making this decision um, to come and lead this program. His vision for athletics and for Stony Brook will just continue to take things to new heights here. So Sean, thank you for your belief in me and I look forward to working with you and uh, coming in together and learning everything for the first time. And, but I just thank you for your belief and confidence and giving me an opportunity to, to, run, to lead your program. Um, when Donna Woodruff first called me, uh, her first question was, what do you know about Stony Brook? And so I could tell from, from that um, and in my experiences in the last 15 years how special of a place this was and how important it was that I knew everything I could possibly know about Stony Brook. Um, because the people here, they just, they just appreciate what everything about this university has to offer. So Donna, thank you for um, your mentorship already in the short period of time that we've known each other. I'm excited to work with you and I appreciate you, know, you seeking out me and, and coming here. Um, and I'm, I'm just excited to work with you. So thank you so much. Um, on my visit to campus, the search committee um, and all of the coaches and people that I had an opportunity to meet with, um, I could tell your passion for being here. I know some of you have been here 17 plus years and, and some of you maybe seven months, um, but uh, everyone is um, in their red and excited to be um, a sea wolf. So thank you for making this um, transition start off smoothly. I want to thank my mom for being here today. Uh, she has laid such a solid down foundation for who I am and, and in my life and in my family who I know they're watching from afar but uh, they couldn't be here today so mom just thank you so much for being that selfless person in my life and, and allowing me the opportunities to continue to grow and pursue my dreams so um, you're an amazing mom and I, and I hope I can uh, be the woman that, that you are someday. There are a lot of people that helped prepare me uh, for this opportunity. And um, I've worked for four people throughout my career who have really developed me to the person that I am today. So most recently, Terry Williams Flanoy at Auburn and our coaching staff. It's the people that you work with that make the environment so special. So I want to say thank you um, to my, my, my head coach, Coach Flo, and the staff at Auburn for um, working with me every day and helping me grow. Um, and, and, and the student athletes as well, because because that's why, that's why we do this, is for their experience. Um, Joe McEwen and the staff at Northwestern, um, just amazing people. Um, it's, it's funny to see the trees grow out and grow and people branch, and a lot of my former colleagues are now head coaches, so um, I've been picking their brains about, about what, what, how to start off on this journey. Um, Agnes Baronado and the staff at the University of Pittsburgh, um, just again, another mentor for me. And last but not least, Keith Freeman and our staffs at Valpo. Um, he gave me my first shot at, at getting into this profession and, and has mentored me ever since then to this day. Three words to describe my excitement to be your coach at, at Stony Brook University are vision, passion, and growth. There's a vision here that is unparalleled. The people here are innovative and they're looking to do cutting edge type of things. Um, and I'm just excited from, from hearing everything President Stanley talks about to the, to the vision of, of what's going to happen. Passion. Everyone wants to be the best they can possibly be here in all that they do and they're willing to help and support one another and that's a place and, that, and that's something I'm very passionate about what I do, whether it's um, my team or supporting other teams and just getting out in the community. Um, and the growth. Uh, a big part of, of Stony Brook University is where, where this university started, where it is right now, and then where we're going to go. And again, with everybody in this room, um, I know that, that it's going to continue to grow and prosper. Being the next head coach at Stony Brook gives me the opportunity to work and develop young women through with, in, through, with the, I'm sorry, <laughs> young women through the game of basketball. That's always been my passion. I've always loved the game of basketball, but more so than that is my relationships that I've had with my players and watching them grow and develop into young women and, and go back into society and, and have families and have careers. And so that's just something that um, 
I've enjoyed throughout my career. I've had numerous people reach out to me um, congratulating me on this position and it means so much that my players from even 1999 when I first started coaching are, are still contacting me today and congratulating me. So, um, you know, that's what you can expect from me is laying down a foundation for this program. I know things have gotten off to a great start the last two years, but we're going to continue to build it brick by brick, and we're going to do it the right way. So it's going to be a lot of hard work, um, but it's something that you will be proud of, and then we're going to lay that foundation and build it from the ground up. My vision for this program is simple. We want to win today. We want to win in the classroom. We want to win in the community. And we want to win on the basketball court. And those are things that I had a chance to speak with my team before this. Uh, and, and we talked about those things. And, and we're going to focus on those um, every day. We're going to do those things passionately. We're going to do those things enthusiastically. And we're going to be the hardest group of young women that you've ever witnessed here at Stony Brook. Our student athletes will graduate. And they will have a first class experience from a world class institution. It's an exciting time to be at Stony Brook, and now's the time to be a Seawolf. So thank you for this opportunity. I have my red on. Go Seawolves.